Hello everybody, this is Captain Compass here, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a smooth and easy walking animation inside of Minimator. Now, this is what the project looks like while open inside of Minimator. As you can see, a keyframe is added every 5 seconds, creating perfect intervals. The numbers and rotations in the bends must be exactly perfect in order for it to look correct. Alright, so now we have a new project to open up inside of Minimator. First thing we want to do is add our character, Steve. Here we are. And I'm just going to rotate him a bit and move him back so that he has a little bit of space to walk. So now let's start off with our first keyframe. First keyframe, he's going to be at a standstill position because that's basically if you want to have him just starting from standing still. And so, watch what I do. Alright, so you can follow along with the degrees and the bends and the numbers. It's pretty simple. So you want to bend the right arm just a little bit. Uh, move the back arm back a little bit as well. And the legs, you want to move that and bend it. Basically what's going to happen is that the opposite body parts are going to correspond with each other. So as you can see, the right arm is bent and the left leg is bent as well. And same thing with the left arm and the right leg. They correspond to each other. So now we have that nice, uh, that nice walk right there. And you want to move him forward a little bit and raise him ever so slightly to create that pivot movement. So now we have our first keyframe of him pivoting and walking slightly forward. Now for the next keyframe, what you want to do is reset. Uh, yeah, lower him down first. Uh, reset the legs and the arms so you can bend it just a little bit and there so that this is the transition stage of when he plants his foot down and is lowered a little bit after the pivot so you have that and you also want to move him forward ever so slightly don't move him forward dramatically because yeah there we go so now we have that nice pivot, walk, and then stamp. See, he's pivoting on the leg. So we're actually almost done. So you have that movement. Now the next thing you want to do is repeat the steps, except oppositely, just as we had done earlier. So bend that just a little bit. Leave that other leg normal and move that back just as we had done earlier. So now you have this, yeah, and also repeat the step of raising him a bit. So now we have the double pivots and the walking smooth right there. If you guys need the numbers, I'll just write it down in the description because I'm going a little bit fast paced here. So here we are, now we have this. But first we gotta sort out any little kinks and niches that might be a little bit disturbing. So here we are. Uh, yeah, you need to create that other keyframe. Sorry about that before we copy. So that it can transition into the beginning one. So you need four of them. Four of them doing this. So here we are. Now we have this smooth kind of looking thing. Got to repeat the steps again. So here we are. Now let's do the whole movement thing. Alrighty, yeah, I actually did that backwards. That was my fault. Oops, guys. Sorry. <laughs> also, I'm recording my voice over this, over the recording later on, so I would have much more preferred to record it live, but I couldn't have done it at that moment. So, oops. That's my fault. Now, as you can see, we have this nice little walking animation, and the next thing you want to do is select these four keyframes, press control, and then drag them, like so. So as you can see, he does move backward a little bit. So the easy fix to that is by moving all the keyframes up a little bit. So just do it until you get it right. And there we go. So yeah, now we have this nice... Yeah, oops. I, apparently I did that for only one keyframe. My bad. You need to do it for all of them. So make sure you select all four of them so that you can uh, copy them properly. See, here we go. And move it forward. Yeah, wait. 
There we go. So, now we have that nice pivot. The, the whole walk. And then all you have to do is... So, as you guys can see, that is a nice and easy, simple walking loop that you can create for any of your animations. And it'll work just fine if you just follow those instructions. All you need to do is program four keyframes manually yourself. And then after that, you get the copying would just do the rest for you. Which is pretty simple. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. I will be trying to do more of these tutorials. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If it helped you out, uh, leave a comment below. And don't try to be restricted to just my walking animation. You can create your own. Like, uh, you can follow my template. You can follow it exactly if you want, but after a while you can get creative with it and just do whatever you want. So thank you so much for watching.